topic that was discussed in the last class was tax on sales and purchases first step you have to create gl for tax lab say output tax CG, uh, output tax cgst or uh, whatever the percentage is applicable on the product or services and uh, input tax cgst then third is output sgst and output igst and likewise input sgst and input igst okay so let me just just give you a brief different uh, difference between cgst and sgst cgst is applied by the central government and collected by center and sgst when there is a trade within the state so there uh, state government levied the state tax and igst when there is a trade from one state to another state uh, for example from delhi to haryana or from punjab to uh, himachal so like this so interstate trading igst is applied and for interstate sgst is applied and when center is, when center is leaving so for, for it cgst okay so first go to fs00 and create the respective ledgers okay i have already created so i am going to show you what uh, changes you need to make over there so for change the company code okay so yeah one more thing output tax uh, is collected from a customer it's a liability and input tax is considered as assets okay so in the assets i have created input cgst 28% sgst and igst okay so input cgst it is part of balance sheet account group under assets and tick mark this box balances in local currency only and under tax category you have to select minus only input tax allowed okay and next just tick mark this box post automatically only and field status group so this is all required for input cgst gl okay. and just like we have to create all other same tax category minus only input tax allowed and this and next is igst again same okay then under liabilities we have output cgst sgst and igst okay so it is part of balance sheet under liabilities and here you have to select plus sign only output tax allowed and next tick mark this box post automatically and likewise create the rest of the two outputs sgst and output igst okay and one more thing you need to make changes in the purchase and sales account so purchase expenses here it is uh, please select the tax category in this part that is only input tax allowed when we are purchasing goods from the vendor okay so input tax is levied on it so that is why there you have to select this only input tax allowed okay so you can remember this one thing purchase that is goods are incoming so that is the input tax okay, so just to remember this not it is it is not any logic and please tick mark this box posting without tax allowed what, what is what does it mean actually when you are posting uh, any document in this uh, taking this purchase ledger if you do not check mark this box so you won't be able to pass that entry without tax okay suppose there is uh, an entry without tax so you will be able to post this entry if you have tick mark this box over here okay so please do not forget this part and yeah okay so please observe and under sales is revenue select plus output tax allowed because we are selling goods to customer goods are moving out so output tax allowed and check mark this box also here yeah so these are the things we need to do in the fs00 so next step go to spro screen scp reference img 
financial accounting financial accounting global settings and this tax on sales and purchases okay so here we need to do the configuration for tax calculation so these are the three parts basic settings calculation posting first you have to go to this basic settings and go to this check calculation procedure under this define procedures okay so here you have you can create from here new and you can select any standard one okay. like i have created this okay select this and go to this control data <coughs> okay so this, when you are creating the new procedure so you have to define condition type and account keys how you can do this let me show you okay define condition types here and account key you can define in this part check and change settings for tax processing okay but select any standard one from here like sir has explained gst ipr okay i did not find this in my server so i have created one that is tax c a x i n i go to this so these are the condition types i have created description okay just observe this here now go back what you have to do is whatever uh, procedure you have selected you need to assign with the country okay since we are in the training environment that is why uh, we are facing so many errors in this part because uh, every user has selected some different procedure and assigned it uh, with a country so it is changing again and again so it is uh, so it is showing an error while posting an invoice so let's see because we can select only one procedure for a country so right now it is selected as gst ipr okay so now if i want to use taxi and i like i just showed you so i will uh, mention this over here and uh, save it from here so it will change so someone who has used this part he will uh, that person will face the error now because the procedure has been changed so fd configuration has been changed okay so just to show you i am selecting this yes and now save it from here this it will be a problem for other users now and next thing you have to go here okay here you you need not to do anything if you have selected any uh, predefined procedure or any procedure which is created by any some other user but if you are creating your new procedure then you have to define here your account keys Okay, just go to this type any uh, three digit characters mention output cdst or sgst whatever it is mention the text type whether it's output or input and under this select this separate line item okay and then save it from here just like this create uh, for the remaining tax less uh, we have six output IGST, output CGST, output SGST, then input CGST, input IGST, IGST and input SGST. Okay, so create all these six here. Now go back. Okay, so this is done. Now you have to go to this calculation part. Define tax codes for sales and purchases. Here you have to define what is the uh, percentage of tax uh, it can be 18 percent or 5 percent or 28 percent so depending upon the product and services so you have to define this here mention your con country okay so i have created these already so let me just show you enter okay so, so output tax easiest in sgsc 28 percent so you have to mention 14 and 14, 14 for center, 14 for state in front of these. Let me 
show you by creating one new I'll say HP enter and it is output IGST select text type it's output text mark this box check ID now right click and it is output IGST 28% so in front of this part mention 28 and enter and save it from here okay this is done like this you have to do it for rest of the part now go back I am not saving it this is done now what you have to do is okay so under calculation only this has to be done now next you have to go to this posting part okay so define tax accounts okay so whatever you have created so far you need to link those with the gl respective gls which we have created in fx00 okay so select uh, transaction is oit here you have to type the account keys okay. so select this go to this rules and since i have already created one that, that is why it is showing my chart of account here what you have to do is go to this new entries mention your chart of account okay click on this tax code or country if you want and then save it okay after saving select this and go to this accounts part so a0 and b0 i think i have okay there are two more uh, tax code also uh, you can take any two digit characters so i have chosen a0 for output tax at the rate zero percent when there are when there are zero percent tax or no tax on the commodity okay so you have to select any two alpha any two digit characters a0 i have selected you have to uh, do this create this in the here define text code for sales and purchases here you have to mention a0 enter and just create like we have created all this okay and b0 for input tax 0 percent posting define yeah position oit select this go to rules go to new entries you have to go i have already done this so i am selecting this this is my chart of account then accounts and here mention your tax code and gl link the gl along with this and nf is my tax code for let me check this okay so nf is for output igst so you have to select the so you have to select this gl here okay and for a0 it doesn't matter you can uh, but for the consistency you can select the same gl in this part okay and then save it from here now go back and do it for the rest of other uh, account keys like OCT is for output CGST tax select this again go to rules go to new entries type your chart of account select text code save it over there then again select this part go to accounts and then tax your A0 mention this uh, with every text course okay and any here GL for output CGST it is 20009 okay then save it so like likewise this you have to do it for all the other account is output, input, CGST, IGST, SGST, okay. 
so this part is done next you have to assign country and tax code to gl so from here select your chart of account select it go to this gl and here mention your tax codes and the gl account along with it respective gl accounts okay and select your country then save it from here next you have to do is assign tax codes for non taxable transactions uh, these are a0 and b0 in my case so you need to assign those with your com uh, with your company okay in a minute assign tax codes select your country company code and then okay national india for input i have created v0 v0 and for output a0 uh, these tax code are for uh, are for those commodities or services on which there is uh, no tax levied okay zero tax then save it from there so these are the configuration we required for the tax calculation so this is done okay, basic settings calculation and posting now let's just post an invoice and see its impact go back go to this accounting financial accounting accounts receivable document entry fb 17 Select any customer. Go down. Day and check mark this box. Cal. Yeah, every time we do, there are a uh, new errors. the number range 89 is missing possible uh, someone has deleted the range which i have created can i do now let me try and select any other customer so let's take this do Let me correct this error and then continue this part.
okay now you have to select your tax lab uh, it is we are selling goods to customers so output tax cgst and igst
So I have sold goods for about 2500 and their tax is 28%. So total amount is 2200. Okay. So whatever the calculated amount is paying here, you have to make sorry, you have to mention it here. Enter and now simulate this. Enter. Okay, output CGST at highest percent and output SCST 28 percent. It has been distributed 14 14 between center and state. 2500 was the amount of good that had been sold, and it is the tax levied on these goods. So, total amount is 3200. So, we have to uh, collect 3200 from the customer now, post it from here, save it from here. Document this was posted in company. Okay, so this was about the uh, tax on sales and purchases. Uh, it is possible that you might have some errors because I am still getting some errors due to some configuration changes. Um, maybe the users uh, may make some changes and you don't know about it. So you might face some errors. So don't worry about it. Okay. So, but, but this is the way how we do the configuration for tax part. Hope it will help you to understand it. Thank you.